Chapter 20 About that time Hezekiah became deathly ill, and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to visit him. He gave the king this message. This is what the Lord says. Set your affairs in order, for you are going to die. You will not recover from this illness. When Hezekiah heard this, he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, Remember, O Lord, how I have always tried to be faithful to you and do what is pleasing in your sight. Then he broke down and wept bitterly. But before Isaiah had left the middle courtyard, this message came to him from the Lord. Go back to Hezekiah, the leader of my people. Tell him, This is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you, and three days from now you will get out of bed and go to the temple of the Lord. I will add fifteen years to your life, and I will rescue you and this city from the king of Assyria. I will do this to defend my honor and for the sake of my servant David." Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah's servants, Make an ointment from figs, and spread it over the boil. They did this, and Hezekiah recovered. Meanwhile Hezekiah had said to Isaiah, What sign will the Lord give to prove that he will heal me, and that I will go to the temple of the Lord three days from now? Isaiah replied, This is the sign that the Lord will give you, to prove he will do as he promised. Would you like the shadow on the sundial to go forward ten steps, or backward ten steps? The shadow always moves forward, Hezekiah replied. Make it go backward instead. So Isaiah asked the Lord to do this, and he caused the shadow to move ten steps backward on the sundial of Ahaz. Soon after this, Marodach Baladan, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah his best wishes and a gift for he had heard that Hezekiah had been very sick. Hezekiah welcomed the Babylonian envoys and showed them everything in his treasure houses, the silver, the gold, the spices, and the aromatic oils. He also took them to see his armory and showed them all his other treasures, everything. There was nothing in his palace or kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked him, What did those men want? Where were they from? Hezekiah replied, They came from the distant land of Babylon. What did they see in your palace? Isaiah asked. They saw everything, Hezekiah replied. I showed them everything I own, all my treasures. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Listen to this message from the Lord. The time is coming when everything you have, all the treasures stored up by your ancestors, will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. Some of your own descendants will be taken away into exile. They will become eunuchs who will serve in the palace of Babylon's king. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, This message you have given me from the Lord is good. But the king was thinking, At least there will be peace and security during my lifetime. The rest of the events of Hezekiah's reign, including the extent of his power, and how he built a pool and dug a tunnel to bring water into the city, are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Judah. When Hezekiah died, his son Manasseh became the next king.